What if you could actually taste the food on your TV screen? Everyone's imagined that at least once. But this isn't science fiction anymore. It's already becoming real. At Japan's Meiji University, Professor Homei Miyashita created a device called Taste the TV. It mixes 10 liquid flavor bases, sprays them onto a thin film, and lets you literally lick the screen to taste what's being shown. It's not just a fun gimmick. It's the first real attempt to digitize the sense of taste itself. Think about it. Taste is basically an electrical signal. Your tongue's taste buds react to chemicals, convert that reaction into electrical impulses, and send them to your brain. So if we can reproduce those signals through electric stimulation or chemical combinations, we could, in theory, transmit taste directly. Right now, scientists around the world are developing electronic tongues that mimic salty, sweet, and sour sensations using small electric currents. Some even release microscopic aroma particles to recreate a food scent. Put that together and the TV of the future won't just be something you watch. It'll be a multi-sensory device that engages sight, smell, and taste. Now picture this. You click on a YouTube food video, a juicy burger appears on screen, and suddenly your TV releases the smell of grilled beef and the faint, savory taste of salt and smoke. The comments would go crazy. This is insane. I can actually taste it. Diet ruined. Totally worth it. The entertainment world would never be the same. Creators could sell flavor data, and streaming platforms might offer today's flavor experience as a premium feature. But push this a little further. What happens when real food becomes unnecessary? People might start saying, I'll just download the pizza flavor for lunch. Eating for pleasure could replace eating for nutrition. Real food might become a luxury, a physical experience for the rich. And the scary part? This isn't far-fetched. We already have scent transmission systems, electrical taste stimulators, and AI flavor analyzers. When all those merge, a taste-enabled TV won't be a dream. It'll be a product. It's not just technological evolution, it's the digitization of human senses. We've already put sight and sound online. Now taste, the final frontier of sensation, is about to enter the network. It'll be a breakthrough, sure, but also the moment when the boundary between real and artificial pleasure disappears. When that happens, will we still know what real flavor means? Humans have always expanded their senses. We learn to see farther, hear clearer, touch through machines. Now, we're about to taste the digital world itself. When your TV stops being something you watch and becomes something you experience, that's not just innovation, that's evolution.